Marcio's fate right here. This is it. It's contained within this clue. He's going to sacrifice the clue. What does he find? He finds a forest, and that's, that's it. it. Brian Brown doing is your world champion. He has defeated Marcio Carvalho three games to one, and he is your world champion. Take a look at Brian Brown doing. Thank you. Good match. Thank you. Soak it I in, Brian. This is your here. moment. Roanoke, Virginia is an old-fashioned kind of town. Victorian houses, a charming main street, kids playing in the town square. Locals call Roanoke the Star City, and many of its businesses advertise the moniker. Beyond its down-home, cozy ambience, Roanoke also plays host to one of the biggest, baddest groups of Magic the Gathering players in the world. This story is about them, and how one of them made his way into the spotlight. They also like to barbecue because well, who doesn't like to barbecue? All right, right now we're just uh, cooking some cheeseburgers and hot dogs. Uh, decided to go easy today. Much a bigger fan of steak. Generally, we buy gigantic tenderloin fillets. So Roanoke is like average town USA. It's, it's a really small city, uh, but it's got a lot of really awesome people in it and so that's what kind of makes it for me and why I really enjoy living here. Like you know we're from the south and you know we, we love our football and all that stuff and then you've got people from like Brad's from North Dakota and he's like oh hey, you know <laughs> <laughs> he says everything wrong it's funny. I thought I was Big Cheese before I came to Roanoke, and then I came to Roanoke, I took one ride with Brad to an IQ, and I realized that I was awful. I knew <laughs> nothing about the game. I was like a third grader, and he was like college level. And then I met Cedric, and I realized I was great. <laughs> <laughs> Many of Roanoke's Magic players moved there to work at Star City Games, one of Magic's biggest retailers and tournament organizers. Star City's pro players write articles, produce videos, travel constantly to events, and perhaps most importantly, they play in the two-headed giant pre-release. Right now we're looking at like an energy, maybe blue-green deck, and I just picked up a thriving turtle. I'm very excited because it's a turtle. <laughs> uh, it's, it's fine, it's playable. <laughs> it's, it's amazing, Brad, it's a turtle. <laughs> My social circle has basically just become those people entirely uh, from what it once was. So uh, those guys coming to Roanoke and like starting to work for Star City Games and things is basically like what propelled me uh, into a career in magic and took me from being just a big fish in a small pond to uh, a reasonable sized fish in a reasonable sized pond. So I've actually got to watch Brian go from like pretty good magic player to like really good magic player to like very, very good, great magic player over the course of three and a half, four years. So that part's actually been kind of fun. Obviously I knew who he was as a player before I knew him personally. After getting to know him, like, I don't know, he was like one of the best people I ever met, one of the most down to earth people I ever met. And he's really funny and says really stupid things, but it's fun to be around, so. Mostly, mostly stupid things, but it's funny, so we let him get away with it. As he began to really focus on magic, uh, it was more of a, really a positive, because we could see he was working hard at something, he was enjoying it, he was more disciplined. Um, he was even, you know, thinking more about his health because he wanted to have the energy for the rigors of the tournaments and so it was a positive thing. When he was younger he was homeschooled up through the eighth grade but the homeschoolers had uh, they got a chess club together homeschool chess club and he did very well with that. The instructor he said um, Brian if you can beat me at chess I'll give you ten dollars. Well Brian didn't beat him the first time he played him but he beat him the second time he played him <laughs> and I'm not sure that guy ever beat Brian again. My parents did not like gaming because it was, you know, in their, like, I was wasting my time with that kind of stuff when I could have been doing so much better things and I had, like, you know, all this potential to do really well and I was just kind of squandering it. 
And in a lot of ways, like they're not wrong, I was doing that. Um, but that created some tension between us. But uh, over the years, like we've really been able to work that out. And I just have a lot of respect for them and uh, how they like handle themselves. It's, it's, they're, they're basically like role models for how I want to live. Roanoke sent two of its Magic players to the Magic World Championship in Seattle this year. A tremendous honor for a small town, considering the tournament consists of just 24 of the best players on Earth. While Brad Nelson is a decorated pro with prior experience at the World Championship, Brian Brown Dewan had never played in an event of this magnitude before. Well, for me, when you go to a Pro Tour, it's just like stimuli overload. You just see 400 people, you see a couple of familiar faces, but when you go here, you're just like, Lost to that guy a bunch, lost to that guy a bunch, lost to that guy a bunch. Uh, I think I beat him once. And then I think about like the three or four guys that like everyone else is thinking about is like the players that, you know, got here from one tournament and they don't have a resume. And I'm just like, what are they thinking about? You know, like this is their first big tournament, you know, like they, they spend all your grinding. Are they just going to fall on their face and embarrass themselves? Yes. <laughs> yes, they are. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like I, I really have no basis point for this tournament because I've just never played in anything like this. So uh, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna beat some of the best players in the world and uh, kind of grind them under my heel, show them, show them what the Grand Prix Masters is all about.